It's not every day that you see this. An entire family getting to work together. But here on this family farm down in Brooklyn, this family is lucky enough to do just that. I got the chance to spend some time with them and hear their story that started about 15 years ago. We all wanted to be on a farm, produce our own food, and uh, so it was 15 years ago that we moved out. And the, the first thing we wanted is to produce food for ourselves and, you know, to have a garden, you know, we, to have some fruit trees, nut trees, um, raise our own animals, you know, that was just like something we really wanted to do together. They started raising cattle and processing the meat from them. They became known after people discovered their dry aged beef. People started asking for it, so they decided to make it into a family business. So we were on the farm doing our regular jobs, construction, and this and that, and you know, people found out what we were doing and wanted to buy from the farm, and that's what we do now for a full-time living. Business has been good. So good, they decided to open a market. It's stocked with products they make from the farm and also has other products people might need. My wife who is called Muma, Muma by her uh, grandchildren. Uh, she said, well, let's just open up a little farm store. And I told her, I said, ain't nobody gonna come out here to this farm to buy anything, and little did I know I was wrong. One of the most interesting things, though, is their farm hands. With this being a family farm, Ferguson's grandchildren help out as much as possible. They do whatever is needed, like move cattle. It's wonderful to see them learning responsibilities on the farm. Uh, they actually work, and we've had some people to say, well, you know, you don't think you need to take it easy. Well, they enjoy it. They, they like working. They like going out and accomplishing things. Ferguson thinks it's good for them and that more kids need to grow up working on farms. You know, when you give a child a task, and uh, even if it's hard, when he accomplishes it, it's something that, you can't teach in school and I think a lot of kids miss that opportunity to actually work and uh, accomplish goals and to have the satisfaction of actually doing something and learning things on them for themselves. At the end of the day, he's just glad he gets to work alongside his family doing what they all love. I thank the Lord for the opportunity that we've had to, to move out, live on a farm, to live together, you know, I, I get to gr see my grandkids, most of my grandkids, just about every day. Reporting in Brooklyn for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.